Welcome back to our FPS low poly video game inside of Unity and uh, before we continue we need to address some issues that we have into this game. And the first thing that I want to address is the actual movement that we changed into the very first video. So what I've changed in here is I've changed it back into the Unity default input axis so you can just copy this and paste it. We have a simple float in here and we have this mode, which is just a enumerator in here. So all you're going to have to do is just write this and just replace these lines in here. And then the second issue that we have is this character right here. So the problem is that this character only has this pose right here. And that's a problem because we want him to actually go around and walk into this beautiful state so that's what we're going to do today we are going to build some simple animations for this character the simplest way to do that is to just go into mixamo and just pick a character and downloading that character so before we do that we want a very simple locomotion okay so what we have in here is some simple animations and all we have to do is just download this Okay, now let's try and change this warrior right here. So the first thing that we're going to do is completely remove the animator and just leave the nav mesh agent in here. And then what we're going to do is delete this too. Okay, now we're left with just the nav mesh agent and the simple controller that we built. The next thing that we're going to do is drag in and drop our character. So this is our character and we're going to drop it inside the low poly warrior. And there we go. Now we have our character and the only thing that the character is missing is a animator. So we're going to bring in an animator. We don't need a avatar for now. We just need a controller. So let's create a simple controller. I created a AI controller anim. Drag it, drop it inside of here, and then open it up. So this is our animator, if you're new to this, and the animator should always have a default state. So a default state should always be a idle animation, and we're just going to bring in a idle animation. And as we can see, it already created a connection right here. So this is good for starting. So let's go back to the scene. Let's see if this had actually worked. This should change pose after we click, after we click play. And there we go. It actually worked. It's kind of floating, but we're going to fix that in just a minute. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to build a locomotion. So what a locomotion is, is actually very simple. We're going to create a blend tree right here. Inside the blend tree, we're going to create some motions. We're going to change this into two dimensional and then we are just going to add in a motion field and another motion field so the principle in here is that we jump between animations so the first animation should be at zero and it should be idle so drag and drop your idle right here the next thing that we're going to do is position y and we're going to change that into one so it appears up here. For that animation, we are obviously going to want to move forward. So to do that, open up walking and drag and drop it in here. Okay, so now we have walking locomotion. And in order to check it out, we can't see it right now. But if we drag our character in here, we should see it. Now, if we change this blend, we should see some movement. And for now, we have nothing in here. So if we try and change this blend, we should see some movement in here. And as we can see, nothing is happening. So the problem is that we only have one parameter and we obviously need more. So we're going to add in two floats. First one is going to be vertical and the next one is going to be horizontal. The parameters up here should be horizontal and vertical. Okay, now if we change the vertical, we should see some movement and we still don't see anything. So the problem in here is the blend type. So the problem in here is the blend type. Just change that into directional right here. And there we go. Now we have some simple walking mechanism. Now the last problem that we have in here is that this guy is resetting into the spawn position. And that is because this does not have a loop pose and if we check the loop pose we should see he is walking 
into the same place. So just check that, click apply and then go back into our scene. So now we almost have everything we need. The very last thing that we need is a reference to that animator. So let's go into the script, create a public animator and call it something like animator. The only thing that we want to change into the animator is this vertical float right here. So let's reference that float. Let's say animator dot set float. In here, it takes in two parameters. The first parameter is the name, obviously. So we're just going to copy the name, paste it in here. And for the second parameter, we are actually going to get it from the agent itself. So we're going to say agent dot velocity dot magnitude. So if we pass this in here, this might give us a value greater than one. And to prevent that, what we're going to do is use a math function. So we're going to say math dot clamp this value to zero and one. So what clamping does is actually very self-explanatory. We have a value, we have a minimum and a maximum. So that's all nice and well. We can save this, go back into Unity and let's see if it actually worked. Before we hit play, we obviously want to, before we hit play, we want to reference the animator and then just hit play. Okay, let's tell this AI to walk right over here. And there we go. It is walking and it stops walking when it arrives. Okay, that's it about this video. I'll see you in the next videos.